In the next few videos, we're going to go over mitosis. This video is going to discuss the mitotic process and the different steps involved in mitosis. So to begin, mitosis is referring to the separation of replicated DNA into two new nuclei and eukaryotes. A couple important things to know. Number one, this is for eukaryotes, not prokaryotes. Prokaryotes do not do mitosis. Instead, they perform binary fission. Second, mitosis is referring to the process of separating replicated DNA into two new nuclei. This is not the same as cytokinesis, which is cell division. Mitosis is followed by cytokinesis, though. All right. Mitosis has several key phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. For the exam, you do need to know what occurs during each of these phases and the names of the key molecules involved in the process. In prophase, you can see in this diagram, three key events occur. The chromosomes condense, the mitotic spindle, which is made of microtubules, begins to form, and the nuclear membrane breaks down. Now, there are several terms here that can seem a little confusing that you'll want to make sure you know the difference. Centrosomes, these are organelles that serve as the microtubule organizing center in eukaryotes. Again, you can see in this diagram of prophase that the centrioles that are forming the mitotic spindle are made of a pair of centrosomes. Asters is another term that you're going to see on the exam. Asters, as you can see in the diagram, are referring to the star-shaped centriole and its associated microtubules. Okay, so this is prophase. Let's next look at metaphase. Metaphase, as you can see in this diagram, is when the microtubules from the mitotic spindle bind to the kinetic core proteins on the chromosomes. And when the mitotic spindle binds to the chromosomes on both sides, it aligns the chromosomes along the metaphase plate. Several key terms here. First of all, each chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatids. And that's because mitosis occurs after DNA replication. Second, the centromere is a specific region of DNA on a chromosome where sister chromatids are linked. You can see that on this diagram. Again, the centromere is a specific region of DNA on the chromosome where sister chromatids are linked. On top of the centromere, you can see that proteins called kinetochores assemble and the kinetochore protein binds to the mitotic spindle. Next, we have anaphase. In anaphase, you can see in this diagram, this is when the sister chromatids are separated from each other and pulled to opposite ends of the cell. In the last phase of mitosis, we have telophase, which you can see in this diagram has three processes. And it's essentially reverse prophase. So here, the chromosomes are going to decondense, the mitotic spindle is going to break down, and new nuclear membranes begin to form. And really, the best way to think of telophase is reverse prophase. So if you can remember the three events that occur during prophase, which is the chromosomes condense, the mitotic spindle begins to form, and the nuclear membrane breaks down, you can just reverse those three events, and that tells you what telophase is. Now, in addition, when you look at this diagram of telophase, you can see the presence of a cleavage furrow. The cleavage furrow is formed from a contractile actin myosin ring. And this is essentially initiating the process of cytokinesis, cell division. So in cells, in order for the cell to divide into two identical daughter cells, the cleavage furrow is going to pinch the cell and eventually separate it into two daughter cells.